Hi, I'm here with Tori Sherman. She is a soul sweat dance teacher at Alchemy of Movement, and I am interviewing her today about playfulness, beginner's mind. Tori is going to be offering a workshop June 10th as part of the Alchemy of Movement workshop series, and it's all about playfulness and beginner's mind. And I want to talk to her a little bit today about let's just start with what do you mean by beginner's mind? Sure. So by beginner's mind, I really mean a state of consciousness that we can put ourselves into that really allows a feeling of um, openness, learning new things, non-judgment, humility, and it really just allows people to step into a new situation that they've never been in before and that they may feel awkward doing and just go for it, work through those jitters, that awkwardness, and really have a great time doing it. And getting into a state of beginner's mind allows us to kind of access a more childlike state where we're not so focused on getting it right, being perfect, not embarrassing ourselves in front of others, all those things that we tend to kind of develop as, as we grow and get older. And I know a lot of the new dancers here at the studio often experience this. I know I experienced it for a long time. Mm -hmm. And for me, it seemed like beginner's mind also came with some critic of like, am I doing it right? And I, but in the way that you're presenting it, it's actually sort of a desirable state. Yeah, I think so. And that critic is again something we develop after you know hearing, feed, often well intentioned, but really kind of damaging feedback from adults in our lives at a young age when we're just trying to do something for the very first time. There's no need to judge that. You know, no one is. A master at anything the first time they try it. It takes process and commitment and a practice. And I think, well, I know for myself as, you know, I grew out of my teens and into my 20s, I started to take less risks, less chances because of that inner critic. And really that inner critic is just a tape recorder of the things we heard when we were young. You yeah, know? yeah. And so in this way, beginner's mind is going to, this is like sort of the way in which there's a certain amount of aliveness in the dance or a, a playfulness yeah. that you're talking about. Could you talk a little bit about how beginner's mind allows for that sense of spontaneity or unpredictability or playfulness? Yeah, I, I can really relate to what you said when I first came to Alchemy of Movement and took Soul Sweat for the first time. I definitely felt awkward and out of place, um, a little embarrassed. And um, I was fortunate enough to have just uh, learned how to rock climb. And that was really awkward and uncomfortable and embarrassing in front of other people. And so, um, but I pushed through. And so coming to dance, I felt those same feelings of um, judgment and concern coming up. And so I tried to basically access kind of more of a playful state. And that really allowed me to keep moving forward with it. Um, and I think that that playful state, um, it really welcomes new people to alchemy of movement. And so it's kind of like the clown, right? Like if you're kind of uncomfortable in a certain situation, you can take on the role of the clown, the jester, uh -huh. you know, that kind of personality. And it allows you to be more, um, free in your movement and in your interaction. So you can start making fun of your own inner critic? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I remember when I first started coming to Soul Sweat and I felt so encouraged to put my own spin on it, you know, to create and to be myself. And that, for me, that is really when, when I'm a little bit like, mm, I don't feel like I'm mastering this, I'll go for the comic line instead, you know, and I'll really like, you know, start to do the, you know, do -si do thing and just kind of look like a goofball because... Why not? It, yeah, why not? And then if people do think it's funny, then great, you know, mission accomplished. <laughs> That's terrific. Yeah, I know a friend of mine was like, I'm not even sure if I want to go back because the critic is so loud in my head. Mm -hmm. She was saying that and just in terms of watching herself in the mirror and everything that can bring up for us um, in the beginning. And I, I really remember that very clearly for me, but I love this idea of um, sort of taking it and playing with it yeah. and, um, because there's always this idea of go ahead and get it wrong like take up space like don't worry what other people are thinking I think that the studio does have little judgment compared to a lot of dance spaces absolutely absolutely and just to go back to what your friend said I mean if you can then put yourself in that state of mind where you think of all of the things that you've wanted to do but you haven't 
because of fear of failure or fear of criticism from others, it can be pretty mind blowing. Limiting. Yeah, really, like you start to think about, is that really how I want to live my life, or do I want to check these things off my list? And the only way to really do that, I think, is to get to a place of, you know, beginner's mind. Like I said, just like, you know, when you're learning to crawl. You don't get it right the first time, you know, but learning that, that's cross lateral movement. Learning that helps the brain to develop in a healthy way and is really healthy for the nervous system and the limbic system and relaxation and all of these things that are so important. I'm just like imagining like an infant criticizing themselves because they're right. crawling wrong right. or something. Like yeah. I just think about how we can really, as adults, keep ourselves really small mm -hmm. by telling ourselves all of the things we can't do or all the things we're not good at or the fear to take risks. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a really exciting workshop for that reason. I feel like it has the opportunity to um, break through some of those internal blocks mm -hmm. that we have. Um, I'm wondering, I know that you have done a little bit of research and I'm wondering if you want to share anything about what you've learned with the audience today um, about this state? Sure, um, so I think in terms of, you know, what we'll practice when we get together in June is um, I'll present everyone with a little bit of research. You know, I think people will find it really interesting and um, I, won't, I don't wanna, you know, spoiler alert or anything, but basically we'll, we'll look at some research, um, neurological and nervous system and brain development based research that really supports this theory of beginner's mind being really important for learning new things, for preventing the degenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia, um, and for just remaining youthful and young. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we'll touch a little bit on the research, but really I feel this um, wonderful studio um, allows us a place to learn somatically and through movement, and so we'll spend most of our time um, playing and moving and dancing and feeling what that um, beginner's mind state feels like in the body and how it can help us to move forward in other parts of our lives. I don't want to completely spoil all of the fun you're having, but I heard there might be hula hoops. Yes, <laughs> we will definitely be playing. We're going to play some kids games because we want to get back to that feeling of, you know, five, six, seven years old before the inner critic, before um, that recording of, you know, where we tell ourselves what we can and can't do and try and access that state um, to really start fresh and, you know, get into that playful state. That's great. And do you see that here in your dance classes as you're teaching? Um, Tori teaches on Mondays and Thursdays at yep. 530 here at the studio. Um, I, and do you see that in, embodied in the dance spaces here in your classes? I do, and not just my class, but other classes as well. I, I really see, um, I've talked to people that have had this experience, and I've had this experience myself, of a kind of nonverbal therapy processing of emotions, releasing of emotions here at Alchemy of Movement that um, has been transformative for me, and I know other people. And it's so fun. Well. I mean, it's like adult joy. Yeah. It really is this playground yeah. in a way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. How exciting. Is there anything else you want to share with the audience um, about on this topic? I would just like to encourage everyone to come and to come with an open mind. I think that's really important um, to access beginner's mind and to come with um, thoughts on things that maybe you've been thinking about um, diving into learning something new, tackling a new project, but maybe you've had some fears or concerns or anxiety surrounding doing that. Come with those ideas and um, let's talk about it. Let's dance it out and, you know, get to that point to where we're resetting the button back to the beginning. That's so great. So June 10th, you can join Tori in breaking through some of your internal blocks and rediscovering this playfulness, this joy, this beginner's mind right here at Alchemy of Movement between 1 and 3 o'clock. You are welcome to sign up online at www.alchemyofmovement.com. And also, feel free to join Tori. She's here every Monday and Thursday at 5.30. Her class is amazing. I am going to go take it right now. <laughs> See you soon. Thank you. Thank you.